Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. This is Gina. Um, today we are going to tackle our book pages, scrap piles, and whatever else is just laying around and create some belly bands for our journals. Um, it's just been overdue. I've got mass amount of uh, cutoffs from, from projects that I've been doing. And of course, we've always got uh, book pages, and then I've also got this. This is a little basket. Whenever I have die cuts, I just throw everything in here. So I just thought today would be really fun just to tackle these. And this is what I came up with. This is just a book page that I've added scraps to, and then a little pocket, which I see did not get glued there. <laughs> Um, so that's not supposed to do that, but anyways, that's uh, I'll stick some glue on there, and I thought we'd add a little pocket, but I'm not going to make these all the same. Um, let me just glue that right now. Uh, we will mix it up a little bit. Um, if you're wondering about these pockets, these are from Artie Mae's Blue Butterfly Kit. I printed them out as... Um, four on the page is how I ended up with them and they're very very small as you can see that's about inch and a quart three quarter yeah squared so um so yeah that's what you would end up if you do that four per page but you won't like I said you know you don't have to choose what you've got but this is just one idea I'm gonna sit that to the side and I think what I'll do is just make uh, several because I, I'll take it to the sewing machine. You don't have to do that. Um, it's just I, I kind of like uh, to stitch my things together. So the first thing I do is uh, I just want the wording. I don't want these images. So I just fold that over and decide about how wide I want it to fit in the journal. And then we're just going to take some of our scrap papers and just make a few of these ready because I am getting ready to do, um, I've got several nature journals that I'm going to be creating and I thought these would be really, really fun. Now those, I'm keeping them about two inches because if you get much wider than that, it, it can fill it might be a little bit too big, um, but that's just, you know, personal preference. Okay, so I'm not going to even glue them, because when I run the machine, I, I do several crazy stitches, so it's going to all come together, so I, I don't worry about that. It's just another step you can, you can omit if you're going to put it on the machine. These are leftover papers that I've got, and I'm just going to um, use those. I've got some old vintage receipts, and then these are just offcuts of uh, scraps that I've got. And I'm sure the larger pieces I'll pull out because I can probably make some little notepads with those. <coughs> So, let me get the glue stick here. I wouldn't normally do this, but because we're the way I'm doing it, uh, I'm going to just put a little bit of glue just to kind of hold it down. I wouldn't normally do this because I would take, I would bunch it up, take it straight to the machine. But um, for the purpose of this video, I'll just put a little bit of glue on there. just to kind of hold that until I get to the machine. And I don't want to cover up all the, the book wording because um, I want to be able to see that. So yeah, I've just uh, been saving it, saving it, and saving it. And uh, now, 
it's time to tackle this because it's getting too full. Okay, so I've got some just old mu music sheet. In fact, let me grab a couple more pieces of that. Yeah, I must share with you guys. I um, They're out in the garage. We, I went to the car boot. It's the first time it's opened, guys, here. <laughs> Oh, just so, I can't tell you how strange it's been. Um, so that's actually the first time I've been around, you know, groups of people in coming up on 10 weeks, I guess, because Paul's been doing most of the shopping. Um, so I got some really good uh, books on this, this outing, and weather permitting hoping to go again this weekend, so I'm, I'm hoping I find some more goodies. I um, was hoping to find some fabric, didn't didn't have any luck this time. As I said, it's, to be honest, I wasn't even sure there'd be much of a turnout because the guys I buy off of are removals, and with the pandemic, I doubt that they've been able to do much of that. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if if that was an issue during the lockdown or not. But I was actually not expecting many people at all. But it was a really good turnout. So that that was great. It was just so nice to be to feel like you were back to normal. Um, because I I don't know. Just talking to my daughter and my son. I don't think it was as extreme in, in the parts of the U.S. they were in as what we've experienced here for um, for lockdown. So yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping this is the beginning of the ease up because I am fed up with it. I want to get out and uh, I just want this virus to be over with like everybody. I know everybody's wanting it behind. Um, okay, so you can see it's they're not they're not tacked down, but they're, it's it's enough for me to kind of see how I want to go with these. And I don't have any um, set idea. I want to keep them fairly neutral um, so that I can come back. As I said, these are going to be in the nature journal, so I'm going to keep them fairly neutral, and then I'll add some butterflies and and things to them. And let me just get a little bit of something on this one here. Get this out of the way. Okay guys, at this point I'm going to run over to the machine, stitch these, and then we'll come back and add some things to it. Okay guys, so there you can see I've done some stitching, and that holds it together really, really well. Okay, so now let's just get on with... I'm going to ink these up a little bit. grab a stencil. Let's do a little bit of stenciling on here as well. As 
this one's got a nice blank space there. I think this will look really pretty. So you can see. Yeah, I like that. That's nice on that one. I'll try to incorporate that on a few of these. Yeah, we must, must get through these book pages. <laughs> How many book pages do we all have in our drawer or in our closet? It must be hundreds, if not thousands, the amount of books that we alter. So I love finding uh, ways to use them. Nearly done, nearly done. Okay, I like how those look. So that's, that is that done. Now let's see what we can add from our little basket here because I've got a massive amount of die cuts that I really, really need to use. Okay, so I've just grabbed these out and I'm just going to place them. I, um, first I'm going to get our little pockets <coughs> because I had these ready. I'm going to go ahead and put these on and then I'll decide uh, where to go with the butterflies. So I just, I really want to get through these scraps. So let me just remember to glue the bottom this time so we don't lose our tag. I don't want to cover up all of that so I'm just going to I'm going to bring the pocket up slightly. And then I know that tag's going to fit there. This was just a butterfly I'd cut out. I practiced with some of the um, paints. So I'm just going to, I'm going to pop him there. I'm not gonna. Oh, I tell you what. Let me put a little bit of cheesecloth. Look, he's just flying off there. And uh, yeah, that'll fit in nice, I think. So, okay, let's do that one. Let me go ahead and get this one. He can come down here. And again, let me go ahead and get these on. And then I'll dig around and see what I can find.
Okay, I've got these little die cuts here. I'm just going to ink those up a bit. Those are a little bit too white. <coughs> Just get these down, and then we will get um, a stamp, and I'll stamp those tags with something. Oh, I forgot the cheesecloth on all of those. Ah. Okay, let me see if I can. That one's probably. Yeah, it's too late. Could put it on that one though. Let me do that. It's a shame. I wish I could get it under that one. I might try to. Pry that one up a bit. Yeah, yeah, because that makes it stand out a bit more. Okay, hang on. <clears throat> it sticks to you terrible, doesn't it? Once you've got that glue on your fingers. saved the day. Saved it. Now I've just got to figure out how to get this one up without tearing it. So very gently. Let's see if we can do it. This was quite a thin one as well so I'm not too sure it can be done. Now nah, it's coming apart. He's just gonna have to stay that way. Oh well. Another one of those happy mistakes. So, where are we? We need some, we need something on our little tags. Let's get them inked. And I've got this one I want to stamp at the same time. Make sure we're in frame. Okay, I should have had this ready, but I didn't. Little, this little stamp here. Let me get my oh, that's going to be too wide. Okay, change of plan. There we go.
Okay. Okay, we've got that done now. So, there's our first one. bag of seam binding and let's get a few of these. Cut that one a little bit long, so I'll make a little tiny bow. Okay, I feel like he, because he's missing the cheesecloth, I'm going to have to add something to him. He just, he's just a bit too plain, so. So yeah, we'll add that there. And that's it, guys. I'm going to call it done. So you can see how quick and easy I'll get this out of the way. Let's get our little journal over here. And you can see, let's just open up to a page here. You can see that's going to be perfect once that's glued in. That's, that's what we're going to have. We've got a nice little tag that can go down in here. You could put a little secret note in there. So that's it, guys. That was pretty quick, that was pretty easy, and look at how we managed to use up those scraps that are just getting out of hand, and book pages. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Um, if, you, if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel, and be sure you guys hit the notification bell. That way, every time I post um, something, you will be notified. So take care, everybody, and I'll be back very soon with some more ideas. Bye.